Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is a profile on Dr. Calvin Atchison, a longtime administrator at Tennessee State University and a community activist. And of course, Dr. Atchison, let me welcome you to the show this morning. And to tell you how delighted we are, Dr. Atchison, to have you here uh, this morning. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. And, 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 and one reason we're so delighted, uh, Dr. Atchison, is that uh, you've got a lot of information uh, that uh, deals with Tennessee State University. You've got a lot of information that deals with the, uh, uh, your community activity, et cetera. You've got your name on a large number of bills that are scattered throughout uh, <laughs> Nashville, Tennessee, and you're well known all over. And so what we'd like to do this morning is to uh, do a profile on you, uh, to get, have you to give us some information about your background, your education, and some of the things that were important and eventually leading you to us this morning, and then we'll talk about some other things. But first, let's talk about you through this profile. Well, when you said background, it made me think of South Alabama. I grew up in uh, rural South Alabama, near Mobile and near the Mississippi line. I, I recall a few days ago, a friend and I were talking, and I said, you know, they didn't have kindergarten when I was in school, but I, I entered school in the primer. Mm -hmm. And uh, before you could go to the first grade, you had to spend the first year, six years old, in the primer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were doing the same thing that is done now, I suppose, mm -hmm. in the kindergarten. Mm -hmm. But I graduated from high school, a small high school where you were nurtured very much by the principal. And I went to Alabama A&M. Uh, at that time, you could go to school and work a half day. So I started Alabama A&M as a part-time student. I worked a half day and went to school a half day. At the beginning of my sophomore year, I had worked all the summer, so I had some extra funds and I enrolled as a full-time student. Mm -hmm. My money ran out and mm -hmm. fortunately all of my life I've had someone to nurture me. The president and how he learned about me, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I was getting ready to leave school and his secretary asked me if I had talked with him. I said, no, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know talk to the Dr. Drake. <laughs> so she said, go in there and see him. I went in and he said, uh, he wasn't looking at me, he was opening his mail. Mm -hmm. Young man, I understand you're leaving. I said, yes, where are you going? <laughs> mm -hmm. Going home and mm -hmm. get a job. What you gonna do? I don't know. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, I check your record. Mm -hmm. I want you to go to school. I have a job for you. Mm -hmm. And that was my reason why I remained in school and graduated in four years. The day after graduation, I was inducted into the Navy. I didn't even have a chance to go home. Mm -hmm. I went directly to the armed forces mm -hmm. from college. Now, what year was this? This was in? Uh, 1944. Okay, so you, you were doing the war. It was just about time for the war. Uh, well, well, in the midst of it. Mm -hmm. So I went to Great Lakes, Illinois, mm -hmm. fresh college graduate, mm -hmm. And they told me at the uh, recruiting center, mm -hmm. said, when you get on the side where you get assignment, let them mm -hmm. know that you just finished college. Mm -hmm. And they will put you in the school for, te for a teacher. Mm -hmm. So I didn't go through boot training. Mm -hmm. uh, these Directly are things that mm -hmm. happened to me. Mm -hmm. I went into the service. Then they sent me to Hampton mm -hmm. for a semester and then to Honolulu. Mm -hmm. And I remained there until I was discharged. Mm -hmm came out of service, went to Columbia University, mm -hmm. majored in psychology. At that time, there were very few blacks majoring in psychology and everyone was wondering, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. When they'd ask me, I, I don't know, but this is subject matter that I like. So I remain. Mm -hmm. Columbia, I spent two years there and was ready for an internship and that was the time that I went to Charlotte, North Carolina mm -hmm. as a school psychologist. Mm -hmm. I was the first school psychologist hired for the public schools 
in the state of North Carolina. And so in a real sense, uh, Dr. Atchison, and I think we're just about getting ready for our first commercial break. Yeah. In a real sense, you were, were just simply breaking ground all the way, all from, the way. Uh, from primary school all yeah. the way up to yeah. uh, your first uh, yeah. job. Okay. And there was always someone there, there to, to help and push yeah. you on, yeah. nurture you on, et cetera. Yeah. And of course, we're getting ready for our first commercial break. Yeah. After we come back, we'll give you an opportunity to uh, talk about coming to uh, Tennessee State University and some other activities that you were uh, involved in. But that's exactly what we're looking for, that kind of information that okay. uh, reveals a, a real sense of how you got to where you are. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. 